So it just so happens that I happen to pick the noisiest time of the day to film a video, but I hope you guys don't mind. Um, this is going to be a lip swatch video, my annual lip swatch video. And I know this isn't normal, but I am seeking to do something a little bit different on my channel. Not necessarily beauty, but I want to venture off of natural hair and do other stuff. Before I do this video, don't forget to subscribe and press that notification button i know that's annoying but press that notification button all right i know you want to stop playing so this lip swatch video is featuring guess what a liquid lip and that liquid lip is from the jordana line you know jordana gets sold in places like walgreens maybe walmart i don't live near walmart so i don't know maybe cvs I don't know but I found these in Walgreens and I have one two three four five five different shades and these are shades that I think are complementary to darker skin tones um, they do have a purple in the line but I'm not a fan of wearing purple lips so yeah I mean if you like purple lips they do have purple in their line but here I have um, I would say like pinky nudes and reds all right, so I'm going to go from the lightest to the darkest shades. So the first shade I'm going to use is, I want to say this is Tyrum. Yeah, um, Tyrum. Okay, I'm just going to put the <laughs> name into the video. And that's what, this is what that looks like. Uh, and I'm going to try these on without a lip liner so you get it true to color okay mm. this one is this one is a little on the streaky side so you have to apply with care Obviously, I would not go outside with my lips looking like this. I would have to line it first for it to look cute. But I do think if you are a darker girl who likes to go for the brighter lips, I would line this, but it would look cute if you... you this is a shade that you can make work, but this is how it looks. Um, these colors do dry down um, really fast, so while applying it, you have to be kind of fast, but yeah, um, so yeah, this is what that looks like. It's a little, it's looking a little crazy, but, um, trust me, it's like, <laughs> it's a good color when you line it, when you line it. I wouldn't recommend going this, wearing this, like, bright lips if you're a darker skin tone, or even if you're a lighter skin tone, I would not recommend wearing brighter lips without lining it. Okay, next shade is a little bit brown, a little bit more brown girl friendly. This one is called Cinnamon Toast. Also very easy to read. <laughs> so this is what that looks like. And I actually really like this shade. Now with this shade, I would also line it, but as you can see, as com but as you can see with this one compared to the last one, this one is a lot more flattering. And I would also say this one was easier to apply; it was less streaky than the prior one. So this one is cinnamon toast, and here's what cinnamon toast looks like. Oh. 
Okay, I'm also waiting for it to dry down because I want you guys to see how it looks like completely matte. Okay, so this is what it looks like completely dry. I believe this was the first shade I tried. Next color is another one of my favorites. This one is called Molten, Molten Chocolate Cake. Again, another easy name. Okay, this is when it starts getting a little dark, y'all. So. This is Molten Chocolate Cake, and this one is like a brick, I want to say a brick red, no, a brick brown, because it's more on the brown side, but it's like a reddish brown. Um, this is one of my favorites, I think it's really, really cute on darker skin tones. So the next color is actually the one that I wore in the last video that I did about the Shea Moisture. This is called Red Velvet Cake and it's like a really good blue based red and you know me. Well actually y'all yeah, probably don't really know but I love blue based reds. I think they look really really cute on dark girls. And they also make your teeth look really white. So. Yeah. So this is red velvet cake. Um, this is the one, like I said, that I wore in the last video. Some of you guys, well, one person who commented on all that video said that they really liked it. So this is what that was. This was red velvet cake. And also with these, with blue based reds, what I really like about them is you know how red lipstick usually has the tendency of making your lips look really tiny? I feel like these don't. I feel like these highlight your lips rather than making them look really tiny. So if you have smaller lips like me and would like to have, um, make it pop, I do feel like this is a really, really great color for you guys to try. Yes. Yes, ma'am. As you can see, that last one stained my lips pretty much, but no worries because the last one is like really dark anyway. And this last one is called Sweet Marcella Wine. And look at how dark this shade is. It's pretty dark. So, yeah. Look at that. That is dark. Sorry for all the bird noise that's going on back there. It's like... And it's not even just bird noise, it's other noise too. What? What are you gonna do? You can't control nature, right? <laughs> or people. <laughs> I don't know how to pose for these things. Um, now I'm not gonna lie, these colors I tend not to reach for. I don't even know why I keep buying these colors. So I do feel like this lip color is a little too grown for me. But I am grown, so like I could wear it, right? Mm. That is it. That's all five shades. Let me know which one shade was your favorite. Let's get into the quality of these. Now some of these are a little streakier than others. The lightest shade was a bit streaky, and I'll also say the darker shade was streaky. These are liquid lipsticks, so they are very drying. They do not transfer. Here's the thing, you have to wait for them to dry completely before doing anything. And the weird thing about these is some of them dry faster than others, so... I mean, with these, it's a hit or miss, like, as far as drying time. 
some dry quicker than others um as far as cracking there is some slight cracking and that has everything to do with the way you apply liquid lipsticks i do feel like there's a certain technique that i don't understand as far as uh, applying liquid lipstick so that's why it's always like a struggle for me to get it like completely right um i'm still very new to liquid lipsticks so yeah i will be walking around you know wearing a liquid lipstick looking crazy but i don't know i guess i guess i gotta watch a tutorial on how to properly apply a liquid lipstick because i always look crazy in them the wear time on these are very long it is actually gonna be on your lips until you start eating now if you're eating greasy food obviously these are gonna come off and i feel like that's the case with liquid lipsticks correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like any liquid lipstick high end low end if you eat greasy food it's gonna come off so if you're eating greasy food it's not gonna last now if you're eating like a salad or like a or like an apple <laughs> it might last long but i feel like these last until you start eating these I believe are $4.99 in Walgreens. Um, it might be cheaper elsewhere. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like videos like this, please thumbs it up and let me know what you think. Subscribe for more creative content and I'll see you on my next video. Okay guys, bye. We just sold out all the floors. Yeah.